Hey, this is Denise, and today's blogging tip is all about hmm, consistency. It's really hard for a lot of people to remain consistent writing their blog posts every week. The easiest way, short of hiring a ghostwriter to do it for you, and if you do go down that road, make sure that it's not plagiarized, the content has been proved by Copyscape. Uh, the easiest way is just to be in the habit of writing on a daily basis. Maybe not necessarily on the weekends, but if you do work on the weekends, then writing on the weekends. So start your work day or end your work day or have your midday break focused around writing, even if it's only for 15 or 20 minutes. As you get more into the habit of writing on a consistent basis, then you will have more consistent posts to put into your blog. So that's really important. Now let's talk about deadlines. If you're someone who is a hard deadline person, that you cringe inside, you die a little inside if you don't make a deadline, then by all means, the day before a post is supposed to drop, have a hard deadline that your post is due. That will force you to write it. Now, if you're someone who looks at deadlines, laughs and says, oh yeah, I'll get to it, that's not going to work. So you have to maintain that daily writing habit. You need to figure out what will motivate you to write on a consistent basis. Are you so busy doing client work and busy work that you don't have time for your own practice? That has to stop. You need to make sure that you invest time in your business every day, even if it's just a little bit. And writing is one of those components. For example, what if you elected not to work on your business at all and you didn't invoice clients? That would kind of defeat the purpose of being in business. That is a business function that has to be done on a weekly, monthly, whatever basis. Writing for your blog is the same way, so treat it the same way. If you are finding that you are running into not so much a writer's block, but you can't get your four posts out for the month then consider having a guest blogger for one week of the month. That means you only have to write three posts. You're going to ask that your guest blogger write something that's relevant that coincides either with your theme of the month or with the current message that you're sending, but you still are maintaining some sort of activity within your blog. I hope that helps. Until next time.